as, as people have seen, the EV adoption rate uh, globally is under pressure, and, and a lot of uh, other water manufacturers are pulling back on EVs and pursuing plug-in hybrids instead. We believe this is not the right strategy, and electric vehicles will ultimately dominate the market. As Elon Musk emphasized, Tesla remained committed to contributing to the EV industry, believing it the right future in the automotive industry. Moving forward with these goals, Tesla is expected to pursue three specific projects outlined in their plan. So, what are these projects, and will it be worth your wait? Join us as we delve into the details in today's video. Plan A. Two, or possibly three, new car models. In the Q1 shareholder deck, Tesla stated, We have updated our future vehicle lineup to accelerate the launch of new models, ahead of our previously communicated start of production in the second half of 2025. These new vehicles, including more affordable models, will utilize aspects of the next generation platform as well as aspects of our current platforms, and will be able to be produced on the same manufacturing lines as our current vehicle lineup. Additionally, they mentioned, our purpose-built robotaxi product will continue to pursue a revolutionary, unboxed manufacturing strategy. From this information, it seems that at least two car models are poised to enter the market within a year. The first is an affordable model known as the Model 2 Redwood. The second is a robo-taxi, set to be unveiled on October 10th, as announced by Elon Musk. According to the latest China Daily report, Tesla set to trial robo-taxi in this country. And that is great news considering the recent visit of Elon to China to talk about the implementation of FSD. However, there's speculation that Tesla might scrap the Model 2 plan altogether, and the affordable car Musk mentioned could be a Model 3 hatchback or a refreshed Model Y. Regarding the matter, Bernstein analyst Tony Sakanagi said, We see it as more likely that Tesla will attempt to launch stripped-down versions of the Model 3 and Y as lower-cost models. However, we are unclear on how much cost Tesla can realistically take out. On the other hand, Troy Teslike indicates that, From what I understand, the compact car has been postponed until 2028. Instead, Tesla will likely release a Model 3 hatchback in 2025, which will be produced at Giga Texas and Giga Berlin. These two factories each have an annual excess capacity of 250,000 units. I think this new model will feature dual casting, a structural 4680 battery pack, a 48V electrical system and steer-by-wire technology, and should cost about $2,000 less than the current Model 3. However, I think the idea of producing the Model Y refreshed is not bad at all. Considering the Model Y's position as a mass-market vehicle akin to the Model 3 and its strong global demand, it makes perfect sense for Tesla to expand its variants. In 2023, Tesla achieved remarkable production and delivery numbers, exceeding 1.8 million units of the Model 3 and Y worldwide. Furthermore, the current starting price of the Model Y, $31,490, is lower than the least expensive Model 3 variant. Leveraging existing manufacturing capabilities, Tesla has the potential to further reduce costs and make the Model Y even more accessible. While details remain speculative at this point, we anticipate learning more on August 8th, when Tesla is expected to unveil additional information about its plans and upcoming vehicle offerings. What are your thoughts on this plan? Do you think Tesla can deliver the new model on time? Leave a comment below. Now, let's move on to the next part. Plan B. The future of energy. Our energy business continues to make meaningful progress with margins reaching a record of 24.6%. We expect the energy storage deployments for 2024 to grow at least 75% higher from 2023. And accordingly, this business will begin contributing significantly to our overall profitability. Vaibhav Tanager, Tesla's CFO, highlighted the company's focus on the energy sector, which significantly contributes to Tesla's overall profitability. Recently, Tesla secured a substantial contract worth approximately $650 million to build the largest battery energy storage system in Australia. This contract entails adding a 341 megawatt and one 363 megawatt hour battery to the Neoen Colley facility, bringing the total capacity to 560 megawatts and 2,240 megawatt hours. Once completed, 
the Collie battery will be capable of charging and discharging 20% of Western Australia's main grid's average demand. In addition, Tesla has commenced construction of the Megapack factory in China, as reported by Teslarati. This development is welcome news after a two-month delay. The factory is slated to produce 10,000 Megapacks annually, equivalent to 40 gigawatt-hours of energy storage. Similar to Giga Shanghai, Tesla's mega factory in China is expected to serve as a major export hub. Tesla's car manufacturing facility in China already exports vehicles to neighbouring Asian countries, European countries, Australia and New Zealand. Tesla has also made significant strides in battery manufacturing. According to Lars Morovy, Tesla's production of the 4680 battery cells increased by about 18% to 20% compared to the previous quarter reaching a rate of over 1,000 units per week for the Cybertruck, translating to about 7 gigawatt-hours per year. Tesla anticipates maintaining this production pace throughout the second quarter and staying ahead of the Cybertruck production ramp by expanding to third and fourth lines in Phase 1. With support from battery partners, Tesla is confident in achieving its goals. The company is progressing with the construction of a new battery plant in Nevada in collaboration with CATL. CATL is actively engaged in a partnership with Tesla to advance battery technologies with a particular focus on developing new electrochemical structures for faster charging, as confirmed by the Chinese battery maker's chairman. Additionally, Tesla continues to benefit from a strong partnership with Panasonic, with the Japanese EV battery maker considering significant new investments, potentially up to $4 billion. In its Kansas plant, to produce 4680 battery cells for Tesla's Cybertruck and next-generation vehicles. Do you believe Tesla's significant investments and advancements in battery energy storage and production, including the large contract in Australia and the new Megapack factory in China, will solidify its position as a leader in both the automotive and energy sectors? If you agree and think these developments will boost Tesla's leadership and profitability, vote 1. If you disagree and think these efforts may not significantly impact Tesla's position, vote 2. Or if you have a different perspective on how these advancements will affect Tesla, comment below. Plan C, Optimus and FSD. Uh, we also continue to expand our uh, AI training capacity in Q1, more than doubling our training compute uh, sequentially. The success of both full self-driving and Optimus relies heavily on Tesla's AI development efforts. Regarding FSD V12, which is a purely AI-based self-driving system, Tesla has activated this feature for all cars equipped with Hardware 3 and above in North America. Hardware 5 is in advanced stages of design and is expected to be integrated into cars by the end of next year. Right now, up to 300 billion miles have been driven with FSD V12. To enhance accessibility, Tesla has lowered the subscription price for FSD to $99 per month. Elon also emphasized a key point about FSD. It's become very clear that the vision-based approach with end-to-end -end neural networks is the right solution for scalable autonomy. This approach mirrors how Tesla is currently training their humanoid robot, Optimus. As Milan Kovac, Tesla Bot Engineering, wrote on X, We've trained and deployed a neural net allowing Optimus to start doing useful tasks, such as picking up battery cells coming down a conveyor and precisely inserting them into a tray. This neural net is running entirely end-to-end, -end, meaning that it only consumes video coming from the bot's 2D cameras, as well as onboard proprioceptive sensors, and produces joint control sequences directly. In the video, Optimus is seen sorting 4680 batteries through teleoperation by a human, However, Musk revealed that Optimus will eventually operate fully autonomously without any human intervention. Additionally, by the end of this year, Optimus will be equipped with a new hand featuring 22 degrees of freedom, a significant increase from the 11 degrees of freedom it had in December. Tesla CEO Elon Musk gave new updates on the company's humanoid robot project, known as Optimus, stating the company will have low production for internal use in 2025 and hopefully higher production in 2026 for other companies. The Optimus humanoid robot is one of Tesla's newest projects, unveiled just three years ago at the company's Artificial Intelligence Day. 
Although the company is well known for its AI development through the full self-driving suite, Optimus has become one of Tesla's most prominent projects due to the claim that it would eliminate trivial and monotonous tasks. However, in typical Tesla fashion, things have not moved along at the pace that Musk said they would. In 2021, as Optimus was unveiled, Musk said the company would have units ready to be operational in Tesla factories in 2022. While some have been used to complete very elementary tasks recently, this timeline was off. Musk commented on Optimus and its potential capabilities. For the Tesla bot, it's going to start with work that is boring and repetitive, basically work that a person would least like to do. Things that I think are very hard about having a useful humanoid robot is can it navigate through the world without being explicitly trained, without explicit line-by-line -line instructions? Can you talk to it and say, pick up that bolt, attach it to the car with that wrench, it should be able to do that? Now, Musk is stating the company will have genuinely useful humanoid robots in low production for the company to use next year. Additionally, production is expected to be at a point in 2026 where other companies will be able to order them. So, how many Optimus robots does Tesla plan to produce in the near future? According to a prediction from a user named SmokeAway Yai on X, Tesla will manufacture 1,000 Optimus robots this year, with plans to reach 1 million by 2030. Elon responded directly to this prediction in the comments, stating, Not quite that fast, but not far wrong. That concludes today's discussion on Tesla's future plans. Now let's revisit our initial question. Which project is most crucial to Tesla's future? According to Musk, AI development is the key. But, but really the, the way to think of Tesla is, is almost, almost entirely in terms of solving autonomy uh, and being able to turn on that autonomy for a gigantic fleet. And I think it, it, it might be the biggest asset value appreciation in history when that day happens, when you can do unsupervised full self-driving. What do you think? Which project are you most looking forward to? And did we miss anything important? So what else would you like to learn about Tesla? Leave a comment below. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We'll delve deeper into these topics in our next video. For now, goodbye and see you soon.